Hi everybody, we've seen an English version of a UV lamp for laboratory uses. Lo and behold, I picked up the American version. As you can see, it's an H85A3 stroke UV GE USA Lab Arc lamp. Have a little look at it. There's the arc tube which has got a coil round the outside. This aids in actual striking of the tube. It's a very similar construction to the one we saw earlier, the, the Mazda version. Obviously precautions have to be taken with these as they are used and they well, they're used for the purpose of UV light, so obviously, as the thing says, warning, read, caution, notes. The outer glass is hard quartz, so is the arc tube inside, if I can make it so we can see it. There we are. There's the arc tube, that's um, the quartz. And the outer glass is quartz. Now I can read a few notes about this which I nicked off the web. We'll go through it. It was manufactured by GE. It's 85 watts. The bulb type is T32, that's tubular 32. Electrodes are back wound tungsten. The atmosphere, that's the gas inside. The arc tube itself is mercury vapour with argon. And the outer envelope is nitrogen. The rated life is approximately 500 hours. The factory, and I'm not going to pronounce that name, is Niller Park, Ohio, USA. Date of manufacture, 1970. And the original price was $23.90. Notes. Now, it's interesting as note. This lamp was modelled on the H3, but with UV transmitting hard glass. So the only difference was the outer glass. The design originally went back to the 1930s. As I stated before, notice UV, so caution if used. You would need a ballast with this. I haven't tried this one and I haven't tried the other one I've got at home. So they're just ones that are in the actual collection. The, the reference was from the GE Large Lamp Catalogue of 1971. Having another quick look at the lamp itself. It's got a medium base. The normal connections. The little igniter coil round the arc tube actually connects to the side which is lowermost. The other side goes to the electrode which is nearest to that striking coil. It does aid, it gives that initial boost just to get the thing working. Once again, well made, as you would expect. Anyhow, any questions, please ask. I'll try and answer them. I'm not, not, not going to say I'm going to answer them, but I will certainly try. That's the GE Lab Arc UV source light for a, a laboratory work. Thank you for looking. Uh, yeah, thank you for looking. Any questions, please ask. Please subscribe. Thank you.